well, if you if you work with people you do not understand, if you do not understand the language, you really have to, really really have to trust the director. I think that's the most important thing because I was completely uh, I depended completely on him, and also of the other actors, and uh, and that was that was what I did. It's uh, to prepare is just to think about the situations I had to play and to imagine to be a young woman not knowing what to do with her life, not, not knowing if she had enough money to, to live her life, you know, with all this insecurity, just to think about it and to talk to Istvan about it, how people would feel, how people feel in Hungary. Well, if you, if you, re if you really think about the situation, I think it's not so difficult to imagine how how I would feel if I would live in a in a repressed country, if I would not be able to speak out loud, of, if I would not feel free, then I think it's not difficult to understand how how that is, even though I live in a free country. Not I will not say that I will feel the same as the people who, who what they feel in a repressed country, but to me it sounds terrible if if I would live in a repressed country. It was just a pleasure. I mean, because Istvan, he really, really cares about actors, and he cares about the human being. And that's a, that's a great pleasure to work with people like that. And then, after all, he's a very intelligent director, and he knows what he wants in a scene. So if you play the scene, he says, okay, that's okay. We, we, I keep the first part, we do it again, and now I'm looking for the second part in the scene because I want to do something different. So he was very uh, open-minded and he was very clear in, with his directions and it was a pleasure. <laughs>